What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Torch Drift episode here for today. We do have the 370Z looking a little bit better than just silver, but we are here today to do that chase challenge for the man himself, Mad Mike Widet at Cali Banks. So we're going to try and use the 370Z if we can, but we may have to switch to a more powerful and faster car. So it looks like we got to get 42,000, 52, and 5750 in the chase score against Mad Mike. And it looks like we ran out of front grippy tires, but we're going to run these Nexon Nefra AU7s on our 970 horsepower 370Z. It is supercharged now. Full build breakdown on this car coming soon. So uh, the man himself, Mad Mike Wadzette, Cali Banks. Let's see what we can do and see if we can actually even keep up with him he is gone but we did get into the bank a little bit we are getting some chase points I don't think we're going to be close enough to get that 57,000 we may need a faster car Zeta Miata is super quick and yep, no, we're going to need a faster car. I don't think our little 370 is going to make it. We did get 30 on our first run, so that's not bad. So we're going to have to go to the lobby, get a faster car. Maybe our E46, but it is on the wrong tires. We'll give it a shot with these tires. We may have to go buy some, uh, some grippy Nexons. But well, we're going to give it a shot on our E46. Yep, because we have absolutely no grip in this car. But we are able to gain some proximity on him on the bank. But this car does not have the grip I needed to do, so we got to go get some grippy tires. Maybe we can throw some grippy tires on the 370 and give that a shot. But we need some uh, super grippy Nexons to get some... Uh, grip to the ground and get some speed so let's go to get some of those nexons and then we're just gonna insta buy them we're gonna probably buy three sets if we go through three sets of tires then uh well we're gonna have a problem because three sets 30 some tires that would be definitely bad if we went through all those tires. So Mad Mike with that chase challenge. Cali Bank definitely going to be super excited if we can get this here for today. Going to throw those, throw those Nexons on. Come on. There we go. Throw the Nexons on on our E46 and give it another shot. Maybe this will give us the grip we need on the launch. Little tap of the E-brake. There we go. That's the grip we needed. Now we're a lot closer. Up on the wall, not what I wanted to do with that. Now we're out of the chase circle. Mad Mike with that, just throwing down here on the Cali Bank track. So the E46 is definitely fast enough. So we just need to stay with him on the bank as close as we can. We may have to go pull out the uh, the uh, S14, but trying to try and do this with one of the lower cars. We may have to pull out the S14 or Mad Mike's car itself because we're just we're pretty much losing him in the bank because of the speed of that Miata. So we're going to cut the angle short a little bit, try to gain proximity on his door. That's what we wanted to do. That looks a lot better of a chase I'm kinda staying there with him right now oh Mad Mike not gonna be enough to get the full total but 47 so we're getting up there I believe that's gonna give us at least tier 1 47 on uh, our E46 so now let's switch it up to the S14 and see how we do with the S14 we have a little bit more power in the S14. We're going to have to get some uh, grippy tires on this car because uh, it would not handle too well on those import tires. It's a pretty, pretty interesting chase challenge. So, 
see what we can do with our S14. I feel like we were a lot closer with the E46. And apparently we were. I don't think the S14, I think the E46 is going to be our best chance to winning this chase challenge. Because we were closer on the bank with our E46. So, E46 is going to probably come back out. We'll give the uh, 370Z, 370Z another shot, but we're going to put it on Nexon's and uh, see maybe if we can get a little more speed out of this car on those Nexon tires. So it's really awesome to have these chase challenges and stuff like that in this game because it gives us a chance to, uh, you know, chase down some real drivers and stuff, but yet this 370 does not have the speed at all. I had to cut that real short to catch him. I think our E46 is going to be our chase, best chase opportunity to get this challenge completed. 370Z, oh, I would say 370Z is good in the latter part of the track, but the beginning part, just can't keep up on the bank. So, definitely just uh, got to get that line on that bank. That is probably the most crucial part of that track is to stay with Mad Mike on the bank and as close as you can to that wall because otherwise, you know, you're definitely... Uh, you're definitely losing a lot of points and leaving a lot of points on the table. So we're going to do this to try this again. We may have to switch to maybe Mad Mike's car itself. Or an FD car. We're just inside the tandem circle. Very low, not where I wanted to be because not getting those really crucial wall close call points. But trying to suck it up in the latter part of the track. Pretty sure if we stayed on him on the bank, we probably would have had a better chance. Man, Mad Mike, definitely, uh, definitely a hard car to chase down. Maybe try Mad Mike's car. Give Mad Mike Wadette's car a shot against his own car. Mad Mike versus Mad Mike. So not sure what gear I'm gonna have to be in with this. I'm gonna go into fifth. I feel like he was in six and I don't know how he was able to get so much grip. But now we're able to suck up right there with him because we're at the same speed as his car and angle as his car is. Little tap. We may have to start this in sixth gear and see if we can keep up with him on that straight because He's just able to grip and just accelerate hard. So, we're gonna give that another go. Throw in the sixth gear. Quick tap the e-brake, and that was not how he was able to uh, keep that, but able to gain some really quick speed against him though. Just a little door love with his own car. Oh, man, I think I think this might be it. This might be the car to do it with. Doing it with his own car because we're able to get a lot of points in the ladder section. We just need to get this bank down. I think we were closer when we started in the fifth. So we'll give that another go. Thought maybe a feathering of the gas would help, but it did not. So we're going to initiate short, bring the car back up. There we go. It's much better. Lay right into his door. Not enough, but closer. 
ever so close. I believe that's a second, no, it's not a second tier. We're getting closer, but we're not getting close enough on the bank. And that's exactly where I'm losing all my points, is on that bank run. So, it's the bank that's killing me, and it's the lack of grip in the beginning, that I'm unable to catch up to the car in the beginning, so we're gonna tap the e-brake. Try and grip up the E46, there we go. Kinda let it initiate in. Oh, that would have been good. Man, I'm determined to get this before this end, end of this episode. Cause I tend to not get it when I'm, uh, you know, recording for you guys and then after the fact I end up getting it. That's a good start. So this is a good start. It's a good, uh, good start to this run. Wish we were a lot closer. That's where I wanted to be the entire time. But unfortunately, I was not able to be there if we wouldn't tap the wall. Whew. The struggle is real right now. So let me know how many times it took you guys. I know some of you guys are probably doing it in one. Let me know what cars you've used to actually get it done. I'm determined to get this because we're going to try starting at fifth. So fifth gear start kept us from spinning. We were unable to get as close as we could on the initiation. So I'm feeling this run is done. Yeah, we're only at 15,000 off there. We need to be way higher if we need to get to 57. I mean, that's better in the ladder. So fifth gear, not a good gear to start on. So we're going to give it maybe one or two more shots with the C46. And then we will probably grab Mad Mike's car again. Maybe uh, Rad Dan's Supra. Quick tap the e-brake to grip up. Still in the tandem zone. On the wall, getting those close calls. Getting a nice close chase. Quick change of angle. There we go. Now is when we try and suck up on his door through this latter part of the track. But I don't think we're close enough to get that crucial chase point. And then he straightens out. Oof. We have to maybe pull out Red Dan Supra. Last car I think we should try before we head back to Mad Mike with that's Miata. So let's try Red Dan's. Maybe we can get some grip up and get some speed with the, with the Supra. We'll see, maybe this is the key. And all the wheel spin. And unfortunately, not enough. Not enough for us to catch up. So we're going to go back to Mad Mike's car and see if maybe we can get it. Tough chase challenge. Torque Drift bringing out these... Uh, Chase challenges making them pretty hard to actually uh, complete them because if they were really easy to complete them, then what would be the point? Ooh, too much angle thrown there. It was a perfect transition though, but nowhere near the points I need to be. So we're just gonna restart that. Man, this is rough. At least we're not burning through tires using uh, Mad Mike's car. Because we bur we're burning through a lot of tires with the uh, tire glitch going on right now. So that's what we needed to be right there. Suck it up. Our transitions, almost mimicking his line. Trying to stay there as close as we can. Too hard in the paint there. Oh. I don't know. This is a rough one. Not sure if uh, maybe using that E46, we were closer. 
I feel like we're closer with uh, Mad Mike's car. So make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. As always, I'd like to thank you guys for coming back and watching. I do appreciate all the support. We're going to initiate shallow in again. Bring ourselves up. That is not what I wanted to do. Somehow saved it, but we are way off the chase score. And there is no way we'd be able to get it with this one. So we're going to probably bring the E46 out for one or two more shots before we actually say no more and uh, unfortunately unable to do it. Maybe we should try the vet. See if maybe we can get it with the drift vet. Oh, wait a minute. I think this is the closest we've been on initiation against him. Is this the key? Is Math Fields' vet the key? I wasn't able to angle up there like I wanted to, but we're able to suck back in on his door. Is the vet the key? Did we just find the key to that bank run with Matt Fields' vet? All I want is 57.50. Actually, all I really want is 52. All I want is 52. I just want to get those sponsor crates so we can open them up for the 370. I think this is the closest that we're going to be on initiation so far. Oh, I think we found it. I'm going to give this one or two more goes. We just need that 52. So, the struggle is real with this chase challenge against the man, Mad Wike with debt. We did not get a good start there. So, definitely not a, not a good start because we also glitched into the wall. So, let's uh, try getting a good start. So, like I said, make sure you guys follow me on Instagram and Twitter, all of which are found in the description box below. Man, I just, I can't get that bank run. And that's, I feel, exactly what's killing me in this chase challenge right now. I know I'm shotgunning this chase run, so this is going to be our final run here for today. Don't think we're going to be able to get it. Initiated way back further than I needed to be. Definitely don't have the points. And into the wall. So unfortunately, I don't think we're going to be able to get this today. So it never ceases to fail me. As soon as I stop the next run out, I bang that 52 to get my two sponsorship crates. We did get the sponsor crates, so I'm going to watch the re... Watch the replay for you guys, but it never ceases to amaze me. I stop recording and I'm able to get the, the 52 goal that I wanted to get to with Mad Mike's car against Mad Mike right there. Nice on his door, almost mirroring his transition. A little hard there, but able to almost mimic his line and was able to get that 52 with his own car. And right here was just trying to be as close as I can to his door right on there. So we're going to uh, take a look at the actual chase run in full longevity for my 52 for this car. It was a bit squirrely in the beginning, and he used that short line to gain proximity up on him and try and hold it out against his door up on that bank as long as possible. Quick transitioning with him, trying to mirror his line, and uh, a little wavered there, but I was able to pick it back up. And then right here, I was able to try and basically just stick it to his door and do as much chasing as possible to get those final scores. So, I got my sponsor crates, so I'm super excited about it. So, like I said, let me know what you guys, how many times it took you, did you get the full thing? And as always, I'll see you guys next time.